So now that we have our uh, program where our frog is jumping and our background is moving past it, we're going to now set up our interactions of what happens when our frog touches the mushroom and what happens when our frog touches our uh, fly. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our mushroom and we're going to say, hey, if our frog is touching that mushroom, what do we want to have occur? Well, it's always nice to signal to the individual uh, that you made contact. So you could do something like mushroom, rotation. Uh, you could set it something to like 30 degrees. And so it'll tilt the mushroom so we know that the mushrooms went by. You could also restart the mushroom or have the mushroom disappear. Uh, you want the frog's velocity, again, on the x-axis to be equal to zero to reset itself at that point. Because again, you could be jumping when that occurs. And something else, they've set up the health variable for you. Uh, so the health, we're gonna take that health variable and subtract uh, one from it. So again, you can see that down here that they've set that health variable up and they've called it health. Uh, and if health is greater than this, then uh, do that. And you can see, again, they initialized it right up here and on the bottom was for the scoreboard. So we got our health here. So, well, what happens if it's not touching it? Then we want an else statement and we want our mushroom rotation to equal zero. And the, re or, and the reason we want that rotation equal zero is we want it to uh, go back to its normal spot so we can see that visual. So now when we run uh, this, I have an error on line 94. Uh, let me take a look what that is. And I believe I'm just getting that error because I haven't completely set this up yet. So we're gonna come back up here, uh, set up my other contact, and let's see if that error goes away then. So my other contact is with my uh, fly. So I'm gonna do that same if a frog is touching. And this time I wanted to see, see if it's touching my fly. And then I'm gonna open my bracket for my if statement. So if it's touching that fly, and I'm missing a bracket here, I believe. Yep, I don't have my And there we go. If frog is touching, there we go. The fly. Well, what do I want to have occur? Well, I want that fly's x to equal that random number because, again, we're going to start that fly over again. And where do I want it? That same numbers I've already done, which is 420 and 480. And we're going to do the same thing for the flies y. And on this one, we previously cho chose 50 and 350. And we want to increase the score, that score variable that was set up for us, by 1. So now if we run this, I still get an error. Let me see where my code my error is. Believe it or not, as I went through, I had an unmatched brace for my uh, else statement. So I had uh, open two braces and only had a close on one. So I took away the open brace. And as you can see now, anytime my mushroom is touching my frog, I'm losing one point on the health. And anytime I grab a fly, I gain one point. Um, and if you really look down at how they're doing the scoreboard that they've set up for you uh, down here, we can see the text size and how they bring in and click to declare those variables, which we'll talk about in the next video.